Hi there everyone, Russ Douglas 222 from the uh, delights of my uh, new man cave and some of the rabbits you're going to see in this video were in those trees literally 30 meters away and yet they are kind of our pets. So this is an educational video, there are no uh, guns, there's no shooting in this video, it's entirely basically to introduce in the first, my first nocturnal video, so nighttime video, filmed last night. I was out until just after midnight uh, for a couple of hours after sunset. Uh, filmed in the garden, basically with my first footage of the Arken Thermnite TNC 225R. This is the, their affordable new multispectral scope. This fell is pretty groundbreaking to be honest, especially for sub-12 air guns, FAC air guns, rimfire, that kind of thing. This fell is amazing. So I'm going to do a separate shorter video on the buttons because uh, you'll hear me saying press the LRF button or press the, the button to swap between the thermal and the day and night. And also there are, there are hot keys to pop up the pip uh, and so on and change the IR and so on. So I'll do a separate short video to introduce all those. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, it's quarter to midnight. This is the first nighttime test that I've done with this fella. Now let's just pop it into night vision mode and let's refocus the top top objective lens. A little bit of lag there. Right. Okay, so let's get the thermal struggling to get it precisely focused but this is in night vision mode with no IR but the other thing I want to demonstrate to you is day or night mode you can fill the screen this is filling the screen with night vision press one button and that's filling the screen with thermal different objective lens so let's just refocus there we go so that's the shed at about 36, 37 meters with the thermal. There's something up there in the distance. Well, that's quite a few hundred meters away. Let's just range it. 318 meters to whatever that is. It's probably a sheep. And of course, in thermal mode, if I highlight the pip, long press the right hand button. And then the pip has given me a night vision view. But if I put the main window back into night vision and use the left hand button, there we go, IR. Ah, that object, I can't focus the IR on it because that object, as you can see there, is just beyond those leaves. So the thermal image can see the object, but the IR is reflecting back off the leaves. Fair enough. You can have the main display as digital, so day or night, or, or thermal, and you can have the PIP enabled or not. And if the main view is digital, the PIP will be thermal and vice versa. Move away from the leaves and I can see better see those distant trees. This is obviously the pre-production prototype, so it's not going to be a full-on high-end thermal scope, and it's not going to be the highest detail of a, a day and night scope but it's got both and for air gunners and for rimfire users this should be awesome so if I just flip this one button on the side and yep there's still something up there I think that, I assume that's a sheep but if I come d down to ground so to speak focus the thermal a bit a bit closer to home shall we say it's the thermal, thermal focused on that shed and this is a tripod mounted scope so there's no rifle involved ah. there we go let's see if I can focus everything a bit better there we have with the thermal although this is a low res spotter thermal if you like you can clearly see 
both of those rabbits right now. With the night vision in the pip, I are on level one. You see the eye shine. And with this rabbit being, press the other button on the side. The main window, 38 meters. And you can see the position of, oh, you could a second ago anyway. See the position of the rabbit itself to compare it. Oh, there we go from the eye shine. LRF's daylight aiming cross is just about in the right place. So literally these two rabbits I'm looking at right now are in our front garden. They are 34 meters away and 40 meters away. And this is with a scope that's going to retail for less than 1300 quid. Now the night vision in the pip is getting, if I elevate it slightly the image will go dark because the IR is reflecting back off the foliage above. There we go. So, so it's only a low res thermal but you can clearly see those bunnies leaping at 33 meters and 39 meters. This is a base mag. The thermal which is in the main window right now that's three times mag. So a wide angle whereas in the pip the night vision mode is at five mag. So essentially the thermal is 3 to 12 and the day and night image is 5 to 20. Okay. And I won't be shooting these rabbits anytime soon because they're not a pest. We have a veg patch and they get around the fence and put up and eat the veg. Then they're a pest. I would love to make the thermal window higher res and sharper but for me this is what this scope's made for you can have it fully thermal in the window or fully day or fully night but for me wide angle main screen view thermal showing you what's there and then you can identify what's there through the pip and any time I can switch between the two views and any time I can press one hotkey and this is all without disturbing the recording as you can see Hot, the pep is off so now the whole window is thermal so if I was looking at some rats at close range this is all you would need and if I press the button on the side there we go the main window has switched to the night vision and ah that's the reason this that's the other reason the image is changing black and white there's a pallet post right in front of me here so the IR is reflecting back off it and the scope is trying to compensate okay so let's have a look around oh let's pop the pit back on And then flip. Right, let's have a look around. See if there's any other bunnies in the garden at the moment. They're doing their best to dig a warren over here, just in the foreground of these skinny trees. But can't see any rabbits there at the moment. As I scan around, I'm not bothering to sharpen the focus on the night vision window. I've got it set for about 40 meters focus. So that's a seat in the garden, a temporary seat. And oh look, a rabbit there, which is inconveniently just behind this post. And another one there. Oh, is there something there? Something in the thermal, maybe? Uh, whatever the object, that object is, it's fairly square. So I don't think it's a living thing. Let's scan around. Oh. Uh, 
there's the bunny, one of them. And I'm not going to swap it around right now, but I do have the 940mm pill in my pocket. I could swap that over on the rabbit looking this way, I would see almost no red glow from the IR eliminator. And those rabbits are now visible to the thermal as they go around the side, but not really visible to night vision. Oh, until they appear like that. That's that focused. 33 meters, and remember, the quality, particularly of the day and night image, will be improved in the final version that goes on sale in autumn of this TNC 225R. Don't quote me on the autumn, and don't quote me on the fact that it'll be mm, less than 1300 quid RRP. I didn't say that, but this, as you can see, is an amazing scope. For the money, this is staggering. Air guns, FAC air guns, and rimfire users are going to want to be queuing up to buy these and we've told Arkansas. Hope that's been interesting to you. I'll try and get this edited tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Okay, hopeful that was interesting for you all. There's also a video coming very soon on garden plinking where I'm adding shoulder stocks to three very well-known uh, sub six foot pound air pistols. Guess where I'm going to be field, doing the field test for those? In the garden. And just before I recorded this Thermonite footage last night, I had my Arkan Zulu ZHD 312R and 520R. Had them both on the tripod at the same time. One using LED IR, one using Vixel IR. Recording various ranges, comparing the, the IR performance. So that's going to be getting edited very soon as well. Okay, and thanks to Ethan Field Sports, I've got a pair of Hike Micro Habrock 4K binoculars to review, day, night, and thermal. The sheep are going to be uh, watched with them very shortly as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Have, enjoy your shooting all. Cheers.